Berber Scree says, if you appreciate my help, then please hit subscribe. Subscribe right here. Subscribe. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Subscribe. And if you like, maybe it would be helpful if you also like. Please like. Thank you very much, says the Berber Scree bird. Hi. Today we're going to talk about climb up traps, Sosa and I, in the bed bug war. We're going to talk about how to maintain them. Okay, when you get climb up traps, and currently the only way that I know of to get climb up traps is from bed bug supply, when, you, uh, when they arrive, they will come in a box like this. You will open it up and they will be in a box like this. You pull them out. There they are. Climb up. Insect interceptor. You open up the box and there's like a dozen in a box. I'll pull, pull out a few of them here together. <laughs> Oops. This carton contains 12 units. Okay, here I'm holding four units. Now, this is the way that they look. This is the bottom side, actually. And then you peel. I'm going to peel one off. Okay, about the climb ups. So, this is the bottom side of the climb up trap. This is the top side of the climb up trap. So the bottom side goes on the floor. The top side, that's what will hold your uh, bed leg. And the mechanism by which the bed bug gets caught. Now what we're doing with our bed is we're making a bed bug safe island. Same concept as with the dog bed. A bed bug safe island. So that the only way to get to you, the prey, in the bed is for the bed bugs to climb up on these climb up traps. Now, I do not have anything under the base of the dog bed climb up traps other than the carpet but on un, or under these ones for the bed I have uh, purchased these pads not these size these are actually too small but same thickness same material Now this is not how it's supposed to look, and, and, and we're exactly, not exactly how it's supposed to look. It is actually, that would, that will still work though, how it is, still works. Now, what happens on the climb up trap is you, you have a, a, a leg, my hand is going to represent a leg sitting there, uh, the bed bug He's down on the floor. He smells your CO2 and possibly senses your body warmth. So he wants to go climb up uh, the leg of the bed. And then he encounters this thing. He, he will, he'll go around it probably. And then he'll go, well, I can, I can go up the trap. Or I can, I can go up this thing. He goes up here. And he uh, probably walks around the edge a little bit. And then he comes in here and falls in the trap. He can't go back out. He can't go uh, forward because he's trapped here in this slick well of the trap. And you do have to maintain these traps, which is uh, the focus of our show today. But in order to cover how to maintain the traps, we wanted to go, of course, into a little bit about the traps and how they do work. So. Our tools that we will use to maintain, uh, some say cotton balls, and I'm sure that they're fine. I use paper towels, that is one tool, and also isopropyl alcohol, probably 70% would be enough. I go ahead and get the 
90%, this is 91%. Okay. That one's not open yet. Do I have one that's open? Yes, I do. All right. All right, so I've got this one already open a little bit. 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I will take the paper towel, fold it up uh, once, twice again, so it's four ply now. Put it against there. Quickly turn it over. And it's a little bit wet, you see there. Okay, now, what we're going to do, here's a, a good easy one to get to, the one right here on this edge. Now, you can visually look in there to see if there are any bed bugs. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to uh, take that isopropyl alcohol and we're going to Push it all the way through there, all the way, 360 degrees, making sure that we're keep, keeping firm, constant contact down. So now, if there is a bed bug in there, he should come up in here, and that's how, and that's how you bring it up, carefully, straight up like this, because you don't want the bed bug to come out. And then once you've got it turned over 180 degrees, and, and, you, and you've already looked at it. I know I've got no bed bugs, but you would look at it really closely to see if you've got any, and bring it on out. And examine even closer. And if you've got them, then you dispose of them properly. And how I would do so is this. I would carry it over here, keeping a constant look at the bed bug. I'd bring him over here, over the paper towel, put it down on there, like that. Head straight outside to the burn pit. You have to have a burn pit established when you're fighting these little devils. Running out here, keeping it wadded up, making sure nothing's distracting you. Head straight to your burn pit. And you set that there, and you fire that sucker up. And you burn that thing up. And you watch it burn. Yep, I've got it good. That's what you do. That's how you maintain the traps on uh, as far as uh, wiping them out and checking for bed bugs. Now, that's not the only thing, though, because you have to have your alignment right. So, that's just the example of, of how to clean one of the climb-up traps. That's all we're going to do for that demonstration of that. Now, we're look, we've always got to be thinking about protocol. So we're going to look at each climb up trap. We're going to make sure that it's centered on the pad. We're going to make sure that the foot is relatively in the center. Oh, it's not, it's not even close to the center here. So I'll just uh, push up on the bed frame a little bit with my shoulder so that I can easily move this. I'm gonna free a hand here. There we go. So that, now, 
approximately in the center is the leg of the bed and uh, approximately in the center of the pad is the climb up trap. Now the climb up trap, uh, the edges of it are going to get bent up a, a, a little bit here like that. But that's, that is an acceptable deflection, that amount right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. As I said, in a different, uh, 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 just so you know, I mean, I cut, just, just for your knowledge, the last bed bug that I saw alive, he was in the sink. He was trying to climb up the side and he couldn't get up the side. So I didn't even ever think about my sink being uh, in effect a climb up trap, but that's what it functioned as. So here's, here's another one that looks like it needs some work. It's uh, off the center in, in both ways. The leg's a little bit off one way and the pad is also a little bit off another way. Let's get that straightened up. Okay, very good. This is the most difficult one to access. You can see it's off and it's off. Sorry, I'm trying to make it so that you can see what I'm doing here. As I said, this one's the most difficult. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's good enough. How's the alignment? on this guy here. He's off a little bit. The corner ones are typically pretty easy to adjust. Now he's good. This one it's not bad. Seems like seems like the uh, Climb up, stay on the pads relatively well. It seems like the the legs uh, tend to move from being in the center. <laughs> Probably just because the accidental uh, pushing on the bed that accidentally do sometimes. All right, all right. This one's one that we checked already. You got one more to look at here on this bed. Some have four legs, some have six. And you know what? That's, that's not real bad there. I'm tempted to leave it. Since we're doing an instructional video. perfectly but close enough that's the result and that's acceptable okay so that is how to maintain the climb up traps and of course the climb up trap is not going to be effective unless that's the only way for a bed bug to get up or down. This cord better not be touching the bed. Now uh, another aspect is uh, that you do want to, of course, encase your box springs. 
This is a bed bug proof barrier purchased for uh, $40, I think. Some have said that they have found them as cheap as uh, $25 or $30. I did not encase the uh, mattress. I won the war without having to do that. Now, uh, what I did... Okay. That is uh, what we wanted to cover on the show. How to maintain the climb up traps. Uh, uh, just uh, about the protocol. Okay. It's got to be the only way that they have to get up. And so uh, that, that's it for them. Unless I carry them on in my body on the bed or unless they're already in there. That's the only way they can be in there or get on my bed. There's, I've got no wire that they can climb up anywhere to get on there. And just so you know, it is uh, acceptable if a wire is touching the outside of the cleanup or clean climb up trap. Although I wouldn't recommend it, but that's still safe right there. That's not safe. If it's like this, that's not safe. Now, the bed bug can get on the wire, walk up in there, and drop onto the inner well. You gotta keep those cords away from there. You gotta make sure nothing's touching. I, I like to keep a, a, a good little, the little four finger rule as far as a chair or a table from the bed. Okay, that's good, right Sosa? Okay, good baby. Good little baby. Okay, good. You get a Scooby Snack, right Sosa? Okay, Scooby Snack for Sosa. Cause he's been good. Scooby Snack for Sosa cause he's been good. Little dog's been so good. Oh, 